Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in this video, we are going to see how you can actually perform some actions on a, a string variable uh, if you wanted to convert that into double and round off to a certain digit after the decimal. So along with that, I am going to show you some small tricks how you can perform these actions. There are multiple ways that you can do that and I'll show you a few of them. So first of all, let me take a log. And here just consider you have a string variable, okay? And that uh, variable is, so I'm gonna declare, uh, declare that variable here. So let's consider uh, the variable as str variable, okay? And that's a string variable and I'll give some default value to that. Let, let that be 89.5678. And so how you can convert this value into, um, a decimal first a, a double value first of all okay because if you see the value is here i'm giving as a string right so to if i if i just declare that value as it is you can see that it will be printed as a string but now i will be converting that into double so we have a There's a function that you can use and you have to pass the variable inside this. So this will convert your value into a double. So I'll show you the difference over here in the output panel. So this is what uh, you can change this into. So now let's say um, uh, like if, if you wanted to see um, Okay, so now what I'll going, what I'll show you is, uh, so let's consider a scenario where um, if you wanted to double the, so let's say uh, now here we have 56, 78, right? So I wanted to round off this uh, to a two in two days, two values after the decimal. So how can I do that? So let's take the same log message. There are multiple ways. So one way is, um, so I have my, uh, variable right so first i have converted that into double and after that i'll just take that <coughs> value and let's say if i wanted to convert uh, or round off to two decimals uh, after the dec uh, two values after the decimal so i have to give it the format in this way okay this is the value so how we know that rounding off works so it is five six seven eight right so this should be 89.57 as this number uh the third number is greater than five so let's debug this correct right 89.57 so now let's say if the value of this is one so this should be 89.56, right? So this is as expected. So what is the other way of doing this? This is one way where you can use this particular function and particular format, okay? So let's see the another way of doing this particular action, okay? So just use the math function and you have to round off right you have to round the value and what is the value that you have to round it over here just pass that <clears throat> value over here so str var and how many decimals you wanted to consider after the um, how many digits you want to consider after the decimal so let's say two okay um okay here uh I have to consider here one one uh, syntax. So I'm passing the decimal value over here inside this, right? So uh, if you just observe here, I can just directly 
pass the uh, string value and I'm converting that into a double. And if uh, whatever the uh, number of the digits that I wanted to round off, I'm passing it as the format. But let's say if you wanted to use this function math.round, you have to make sure that you pass a double value inside the round function. Okay. So let's say if you wanted to round it off to three digits, uh, then in that case, just increase one more star and here just keep this as three okay so what should be the expected value in this scenario it is five six one eight right so as this is greater than five this should be converted to two this is perfect right so likewise you can just uh, do it for uh, whatever the values that you wanted to pass in so let's say i am going to do for this one okay so in this case, what should be the value? 654.8898, right? 898. So this is how you can actually perform. So one way, uh, whatever we have covered here in this video is we have just uh, used um, a string variable and we've converted that into double and after that we have applied this particular format so if you wanted to round off to three digits after decimal then this should be the format and uh, if you wanted to use another method then you can just go for math dot round off and you have to pass a double um variable over here and you just have to give it or you know float variable whatever it is okay whatever your requirement is you have to pass you cannot pass a string variable that's the only constraint over there so this is all about in this video in the smart hacks so we know that smart hacks is a, a series that we are going through uh for you know getting out the uh, uh the small smart hacks that we can apply on the scenarios that we encounter in the processes so this is all about in this video and in the next video i'll find i'll see you with an interesting video so please do subscribe to my channel and also like the videos and do let me know your comments in the comment section thank you so much for watching